I know that I'm willing to put sweat equity into it. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You know, you wouldn't believe the checks I've wrote, you know, over the past couple months, just throwing money out there to see what happens, yeah. you know, literally just chunking it away. Um, yeah. I think too, though, if you're, if you're at your level, it's completely different. No, I was like that. I was like that at your level. Like, you I, were? yeah, I would, I would, yeah, dude, I was, dude, I'm a huge risk taker. Huge, Man. huge risk taker. Like I know I'm gonna stand behind the fact that I'm willing. I know that I'm willing to put sweat equity into it. Yeah. I know that I know that I can lose everything. I can yeah. lose everything, but you you can't take me. Like they're not they're not they're not like I'm not gonna disappear. That you know like my bank account could go to zero, but I'm still here. You know yes. I'm still gonna make it happen. Um. So, two. On that note, kind of while I'm thinking about it, you know, stocks, you know, I, I invest a lot into the stock market. And I think one cool way I've been thinking about it, um, you know, for a while is, and it goes back to the fact that I'm willing to risk the money yeah. because I know I'm not going away. And it's the same thing with stocks. It's like, do you think Apple's going away ever? No. No, I don't think it's ever going away. Um, you know, Verizon, AT&T, you know, um, Johnson and John, like all these companies are just going to be here, you know, yeah. forever. Now, what if something weird happens and one of those companies does disappear? That's fine. That's why you diversify. Yep. So the thing is, is here, here's, here's, here's a cool way to think about this. And I wish I would have thought about this a lot sooner. So that's why I want to share it with everybody. Like if you pick, you know, say five or 10 companies that you feel like are never going anywhere. Blue, blue chippers. Blue chippers, you know, like, you know, do, do 10 companies, do, you know, do like, you know, one or two risky, really risky ones, you know, and like three medium risky ones and five blue chippers, you know? Yeah. And it's like, you know, you could put as much money as you want into it. You could put everything you got into it because if one of those companies goes up five, you know, five x, ten x, you know what I mean. All you need is one of those companies to go ten. If you put a hundred thousand in each, you got a million sitting there. You know, one of those companies goes ten x, but the other one lost fifty percent. You still, you, you know, what I'm saying like it, it yeah. Those companies aren't going away. You know what I'm saying? So, so do you invest in individual stocks? Oh yeah. You do okay. Oh yeah. I'm an S&P 500 index fund guy. Oh, okay. See, I have zero mutual funds or index funds at all. <laughs> I've said the same thing. Like, listen, if I go bankrupt, that means we're in World War Three because I own America. You know, like I've got bigger issues in my money at that point. Right. Right. No, it's smart. It's really smart. It goes back to your discipline on, you know, being by the book, doing what you're supposed to do. Like you do it the way I'm more of a risk taker, you know, hence the reason why, I, you know, <laughs> put like 300,000 into the coaching industry, making zero money, you know, for two years. I'm just visualizing. Dude, I'm just a dreamer. I'm a visualizer. I can visualize it. And once, yes. and once I can put the math together, See, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a math. I'm a, I like, I like, I like the numbers. I like to make the numbers work. And if I can, if I can make the numbers work around a dream, then you can't hold me back. I'm going, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I told my dad, um, you know, what I was making coaching, and he was like, oh, <laughs> like, he, he just, he can't fathom it because he's not a risk taker. And he, and he saw what I did to get there, and it just blows his mind how, you know, I've turned this thing, I've basically made something out of absolutely nothing, you know what I mean? Complete sweat equity and um, an investment that could have went to zero, you know? Yeah. Could have lost everything. I could have lost everything over this, you know? Yep. But I know I would have just fought right back and, and brought it back. Got off subject there. But also like dividend paying stocks because, okay, and this is real basic, but I just want to throw it out there for people who might be new with stocks. If you have a, if you have a stock paying 5% dividend, 
okay, and you put 100,000 in, that's 5% a year that you're making off that 100,000. Now, if the market crashes, say 50%, your 100,000 is now worth 50,000, you're still making 5,000 a year. You're still making that 5,000 off of that 100,000. Yeah. Right, right. Now, that's if, the, that's if the company maintains its dividend through the crash.